Hello everyone, this is General Hand Grenade. Welcome to my war room in Prince George, British Columbia. Well, if you've been watching the last few days here, I've, uh, I've been doing videos on my 1914 board here. Um, and so, um, the last video I made was uh, an overall strategy video, like uh, just basic strategy, uh, the basic principles of, of what I think uh, the game should be uh, what I think each uh, nation or at least each side anyway the central powers and the allied powers what I think that they should be doing um, and so now this video here is going to be much more detailed and um, I'm going to play along in a game um, I'm going to be using a strategy from another youtuber his name is Jonathan Mayer uh, or Meyer I, I think it's Meyer anyway Jonathan is a very very good player and I have an, an awful lot of respect for the way he plays the game and for his videos he's very well spoken um, but uh, I've never won the game as the central powers and, and I came across one of his strategies actually he pointed it to me that uh, that I think is a great strategy and, and I think it, it might have a chance of winning um, because it, as the central powers, you need to win the game very quickly. You need to win it in four or five turns. If you can't win it in four or five turns, then you're probably not going to win it at all. And that's the problem that I was having with this game. I'd get four or five turns into a game and realize that uh, now they're never going to win it. So, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just uh, start taking the pieces off the board because uh, there's just no way. But anyway, this strategy is a, is a kill France first strategy. So you're going after Paris. And let's just uh, let's just move the camera up a bit there. So you're going to go after the blue guys there. And you see where the, the fighter is down there. That's Paris. Um, you need to, in order for the central powers to win this game, you need to take Paris and one of the other capitals. So you have Rome over here. Uh, you have London up here. There's Washington way over there. I don't think you'll ever get that one. And there's Moscow down here. So you need to get two of those capitals and one of them has to be Paris. So you might as well go for Paris right away because on the way to getting Paris, the, the you see the green guys down there, that's Austria-Hungary. On the way to getting Paris, you have to go through Italy. And so you can get Rome on your way to Paris. And so that's why I think this is a pretty good strategy because, I mean, you could spend four turns getting Rome and Moscow down here, but then you still have to go get Paris. And by then the Americans are, are in the game and they're dropping units into France over there. So, you know, like I, um, that's what I've tried before for the most part. And that hasn't worked too well. I, I don't know that you could uh, get London as the central powers. Uh, uh, like you could throw an awful lot into it, but I, I don't think that you're going to get that and get Paris and, you know, and, and hold the Russians off and, and all the other things that you need to do in the game. Um, I just don't think that you can do that. But anyway, I'm going to use Jonathan Meyer strategy, not because I want to pick on Jonathan. I want to make that very clear. I want to, I want to try his strategy because I think that that strategy has as good a chance of, of winning this game as any that I've seen to this point. So... Let's just take a look here. Here I've got my computer up. So there's uh, the there's here. I'll just I'll just play this for a second. The time I like to jump over and attack Tuscany and take Tuscany. We are not going to do that in this case. And uh, I'll okay. So see, that's the video that I that I'm I'm looking at. Uh, Axis knowledge two thousand or nineteen fourteen. Defending France in six weeks isn't good enough. How about four four instead? So that's the video that I'm getting the strategy from. And what I'm doing here, let me let me just show you what I've done is uh, I've uh, I've made a word document just uh, just quickly this morning documenting all of the, the moves that he made with Austria and Germany in the first two turns. He didn't show any uh, moves for Ottoman because Ottoman really isn't part of the strategy. With Ottoman, you're just trying to hang on and that's it, right? Uh, Ottoman's playing, uh, uh, is, is, is doing a separate battle. Um, Jonathan did talk about what the Allies would probably do against uh, this strategy and that's not what I would do and so that's why I wanted to make this video is because I think that he's got a good strategy and um, I think that my strategy is uh, well, I, I wouldn't do what he said that, that the allies sh he thinks the allies are going to do I've got my own strategy so I want to try mine I want to I want to see uh, if this if my strategy uh, is going to 
to beat his central power strategy of kill France first. Um, I, I want to see his strategy succeed, though. That's because uh, uh, I'd like I'd like to start playing this game again, and 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 I just don't feel like playing it because I think it's it's very predictable. It's everybody fights for the first three turns, and then America enters the war, and then it's it's game over in a turn or two. Um, like they you haven't wiped everybody out it's just that you know it's just it starts to get worse for the the central powers and it never gets better again so anyway i have documented his moves and i've only done the first two turns because after that um and jonathan was was pretty vague about what's going to happen after that um so after that is it's something that i'm either going to have to make up or maybe uh what i'll do is i'll just make a video with these first two turns and i'm going to play everybody i'm not just going to do his moves and what i what i would do to counter that i'm going to play this whole game i'm going to do the rolling and everything i think i'll do the rolling off screen though um i'm going to be honest about it though i have no <laughs> no uh no reason to cheat or anything i'm not playing a game against anybody i'm just uh i'm, I'm trying this strategy out and i want to know if it honestly if it works or not and bear in mind when you roll in the dice it's uh you know like you, you 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 might get good dice you might get bad dice and i'm talking about for either side right so uh um but that's a, that's how that's how it works in a real game anyway you're going to roll the dice you're not going to say okay uh, that I should get two off of this guy or I should get four off of this guy because this is what I have. Um, that's just not how the game is played. It's good to make a strategy video like that, but I, I, I prefer to do the rolling and, and um, there's not a lot of roll, lot to, to do with strategy when it comes to rolling in this game, so I'm, I'm just not going to bother showing it. But just uh, just know that uh, I'm going to uh, give, you, give you an honest uh, um uh result of what happens so anyway this is what i bought and i think that uh jonathan like he didn't say what he was buying for them but this is what i've bought for austria hungary here uh four infantry two artillery and a fighter and uh i think that he would agree that that's a pretty good purchase but uh i'm just using his strategy i'm not really playing against him so i'm going to play the game from now on just taking his moves okay so let me set the, the camera up over here, and I've got the computer beside me here. Okay, uh, so what he's done now, um, so what he's doing is going 9 infantry and 2 artillery from Budapest to Serbia, because this game begins with attacking Serbia down here. Uh, the, that it's in the rules, you actually have to attack this one down here. So he's going with... Uh, with nine infantry, oops, uh, one of these chips is wrong. It should be a dark chip. So uh, you start with 12 there, I believe. Here, let me just look at that. Budapest. Yeah, you start with 12. I had the wrong chip on there. Okay, so. I might be playing a little slower than normal because I've only got one hand. Uh, if you were watching my other videos, you know that, I, that I've hurt my hand. Okay, so. He's saving three infantry back here. And what he's doing is taking nine infantry. Wait a minute. Yeah, I, I put too many on there. Okay, so nine infantry going after uh, Romania. That's the move that you have to do. And then two artillery. And then, let's see here, uh, 12 infantry, four artillery from these two spaces. So basically what he's doing is going in everybody in the pool here. Okay. Because... Uh, and that's that's pretty that's pretty normal going with with everybody here in into Venice. That's the one uh, most common move that you'll see. Um, a lot of times, uh, what, what what you'll see also, uh, they'll be using these boats and they'll be bringing a couple of units across to Tuscany. But in for this scenario, uh, he's going to forgo that. He he wants to try to do that on the second turn, and. Uh, and, and so they're not going to go after Tuscany on the first turn. And then what else? Um, 
three infantry for Budapest to Galatia. So he's going to bolster Galatia up here with the other three infantry from Budapest. Um, two artillery from Galatia to Trieste. So he's bringing these down here. And... And everything else is, is coming down here. All of these things are coming down here, down to Trieste. Now, I encourage you to go see his video because I'm going to I'm going to talk a bit about why he's doing this. But he has a, a, a good uh, um, it, it's good to listen to why he's decided to do all of this. Now this here, he, he wants to go with a lot of, uh, that, that's a, as much as he can reach from there. And so that's a, definitely what you want to do. Now why he's brought all these down here is because um, Albania here is uh, is um, linked to uh, Italy. It, it, it's aligned with Italy. Like if you look here, you see the Italian flag here uh, or the Italian roundel. So um, all you need to do is put any type of... Um, um, allied troop on here, even just one of them, and then these turn into uh, Italians. And so he wants to put as many on here as he can so that if these guys did decide to attack this, then um, they're going to get wiped out. It's not that uh, they will go in there and, and get and not be able to take it. He wants them to be wiped out because if this is contested, if there are any Italians left over in this, then these guys are not going to be able to go to Venice. And he's thought about not bringing all of them in here, like maybe bringing some of them to Tyroli instead, but he's decided uh, in, the, in this video anyway, that he's going to just bring them down here. Um, and he, he's brought a, a lot of units in here because uh, that way he can either come down here and, and take whatever goes to Albania or he can come over here to Romania and take what's over here. So basically that's what Austria has done on the first turn. And then once they, once they finish their turn, they are going to put their units on Vienna here. So I'm going to put the units on Vienna there before I do the rolling. And there's only one attack there. There's uh, the attack into Venice. So I am going to stop the video now and I'm going to do the rolling in Vienna. Or, or yeah, no, the Venice, sorry, the rolling in Venice. That's over here. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, resolve that attack and then I'll clean all of this up. I'll uh, consolidate all the infantry and the artillery into one stack each and then I'll come back. Okay, so uh, there was a lot of hits there. Um, if I was uh, the Austrians, I'd be happy with the way that the first turn went. Uh, they, they were able to take out all but one infantry here. And um, so, and they lost four infantry themselves. So they're left with eight infantry and four artillery. And the Italians are left with one infantry. And then down here in Serbia, they were able to take them out. Uh, but the Serbians got three hits on them, so they're left with six infantry and two artillery. And you can see that I've consolidated. I, I've chipped everything here. So, like, there's all of, there's uh, 15, 18 infantry here and six uh, six artillery. And and uh, anyway, that's where things have, have ended up. Uh, the boats did not move and their units are put on Vienna there. So now it's Russia's turn, and Russia gets 25 IPCs, and you can see what they've purchased there. They purchased a fighter, uh, one artillery, and five infantry. So then we go over here, and that's the Russian player. Okay, so now you know what uh, what's happened uh, with the Austrians. And the way I play it, 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 does, it doesn't matter what the Austrians do, uh, whether they come after uh, after me as the Russian player or whether they go the other way like they have in this game I'm going to try to go for Budapest down here um, I like to uh, I like to put the pressure on them as the allies I, I, I like to go after them I don't I don't want to just sit back I don't want to just uh, uh, turtle and give up ground and, and allow them to take more income and then just you know hope and pray that the Americans get here soon I like to go after them. I think that you need to do that um, in this game, especially because 
you can contest territories. Like if you if you can go after Galatia here and still have some units left, then Galatia can't attack anything over here, right? Because uh, because it, you can't go from a contested territory into a hostile territory. In other words, you can't go into a territory that you don't own, uh, that your opponent owns, even if it's an empty territory. And so that's why um, you, you will see uh, you can move all your stuff to the front lines and, and leave everything empty as long as you can test that one front territory. But you got to be careful though because uh, one of one of their allies like Germany can come in and make that uncontested, uh, like they can take everybody out there and then they can they can move forward on that one. But um, for the most part, Russia is just going to be moving their stuff around here. Like I am going to attack Galatia there with everything that I can. And I'm going to attack Mesopotamia down here. I like to leave uh, the Ottoman Empire down there for the British to do. But I do I do like to give them a bit of a head start by, by uh, sending um, a few units in there from Russia. Uh, just, uh, I, I don't expect to get Mesopotamia as the Russians. I mean, it'll be a bonus for them if they do get it down here. But what I, what I am expecting to do is to contest this territory. And then when the British come over and they will go before the Ottoman Empire, then the British should be able to take that out. If I can take off uh, a couple of those infantry, then the British should be able to take off the artillery. That's the, that's the, the hope anyway. Um, but for the most part, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be moving my stuff to the front lines. And now you got to remember, I don't know what the Germans are going to do. Like, I, you know, I've, I've already got Jonathan's whole plan for the first two turns and yeah, but I'm going to go on the assumption that I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know that they're going after France first. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it could just be that he wants to go after Italy and it could be that, uh, that Germany is, is going to go after Russia and then uh, everything from here on in, the Austrians are going to go after Russia. Um, and then, but that is just the, the force that they've sent over there to take out Italy. That, that could be the case uh, at this point. But what I do know is that he's left this largely undefended over here. And, and regardless of what he's done, I, I am going to do the same thing on my first Russian turn. So let's, let's do this now. Um, so I'm going to take, not everybody, I'm going to take, uh, say, two infantry and uh, one artillery down here. So then I have an infantry and an artillery. And I'm also going to move an infantry and an artillery over here, along with the ones that I just put in here. So these are infantry and artillery. And that's going to activate these ones down here. So that's seven more infantry. There we go. As I make a mess here. I tell you, I'm just not used to playing with my left hand. And uh, then you add this artillery here because you take this one off. Okay, and where's my flags? Unfortunately, historical board gaming has not got these type of flags. I, I really like this flag for the Russians. Uh, they don't have all of the World War One flags. They do have uh, World War One roundels, but they're not um, they're not exact uh, like these ones here. They're close though, um, but they're not exact. Uh, some of them they do have, uh, they, like they have the Ottoman and they have the German, um, but not all of them. Anyway, so that's what I've done over there. And then with the other ones here, the the infantry and the artillery, I'm going to go with the infantry and the artillery here. And if I had been on the front lines with any of this other stuff here, I could have, uh, I, I, I could have moved in. But uh, the reason you can't go two spaces, even with the tournament rules, and then attack somebody, unless that territory is already contested. <laughs> See what I mean? This is awkward. Trying to, trying to do this with a hand, with a, with a finger that's all bandaged up or with your left hand. So uh, that's all I could go in there with. I wish I could go in there with more. And then with the rest of the stuff, I'm just going to consolidate it. So uh, I've got this guy down here. He's gonna move up two spaces. I like to put a lot on Ukraine here um, because uh, you, can, you, you, you can go to a lot of different spaces from Ukraine. Um, 
if I could put more in Romania, I would. But again, like, like yeah, they, they just got that this turn, so they can't do any more than that. And then these ones here, I'm going to just move them up as far as I can, right? Um, this guy could go two spaces. Uh, and then this guy can go... Hmm, hmm. I really want to keep going down there in the south there, so... So uh, I, I'm going to try to get as many down here as possible, but uh, keep an eye on this over here. Um, you know what? Let's let's go with one less artillery up there. Uh, let's go with these artillery over here. Let's go with these up here. This guy couldn't go any further than that because he came from Finland, and that's about it. That's about all I can do. So I've got two attacks then. I'm, I've got this one here and I've got this one down here. And then when I put my stuff on, it's going to go on Moscow. Uh, I'll, I'll wait to put that on until afterwards and then, it, uh, then it'll be Germany's turn. So I'm just going to go and roll that up there and, uh, and then I'll bring you back. And we're back. Um, one thing I forgot to mention here, uh, I've done the rolling on the other ones, but, and I, I thought about it as soon as I turned the camera off, but uh, I, I thought, well, I'll just, I'll just finish this off and then I'll make this part of the next segment. And that is these, these boats right here. Um, these boats do you no good whatsoever, like nothing. And, but uh, these boats here, if you remember my strategy, the, the last strategy video that I made, uh, uh, it's called overall strategy. These boats here, can, can leave here and they can go out and they can actually um, they can harm uh, other boats whether in season 19 or if uh, you know like it, you uh, all of a sudden leave a transport or something uh, uh, alone out there in season 17 they, they can actually do some harm and and these boats do you absolutely no good and it does it doesn't do you any harm to lose them so one thing that that else that I would do on the first turn is I would bring these over. So I thought I'd just bring those over and and we could roll those while while you're while you're uh, while you're here and then we'll carry on. So what happens first is uh, that there's a mine here and the mine is actually sitting here, but th this is all one C zone. So these things uh, uh, they they've got to go through the minefield first. So a one will take them out. So let's roll these first, and they they got past the mines. Okay, so uh, then uh, these attack at threes and these defend at three. So attacking at three, missed, and defending at three, missed. Now you can keep going, not with uh, ground uh, forces, but with uh, with um, uh, naval, you can keep going, and, and they're going to. So there's one hit, and two on defense. There's one hit, so that's one left each, and they're going to keep going. So here goes the Russians, that's a hit, and that's a miss. So this is gone. So you see how well that did for you, right? Um, and then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take it out, and I'm probably, uh, I, I probably don't need any more defense down there. What I'll probably do is take it out towards the Atlantic. We'll see. Like we'll, 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 uh, we'll, we'll go as far as we can from there, and then we'll see at that point where would be the best place to take it. Um, depending on how many battleship or how, how many uh, naval units are left for the Germans, maybe they can come down here and link up with this battleship, but that's unlikely. We'll see though. So, uh, uh, what happened here? Okay, so they went into Galatia here and uh, they rolled pretty well. They took six units off of Galatia, off of the Austrians, and the Austrians, uh, they took five units off the Russians. So, uh, doing pretty good rolling today, that's for sure. <laughs> that that uh, naval battle there took a little bit longer. Um, and then the only other attack was over here. And that um, the, the Russians were able to get one off uh, the Ottomans and the Ottomans didn't get anything. So, you know, that's, uh, I was hoping to get two off. I probably should have taken one more unit in there. But uh, anyway, let's just uh, step back and take a look. You can see what, what the Russians have done. Uh, they put their units on, uh, what was it, their um, four infantry? Yeah, four infantry and artillery and a fighter. And uh, you've seen where I moved all those before. I've just consolidated them, put chips under them, taken the extra units off. Uh, the battleship's not going to go anywhere. Why would you take on that mine for no reason, right? 
Um, so just stay here. Uh, if the Germans ever decide to buy a transport and attack these territories up here, then they've got to go through the mine, then they've got to go through your battleship. Okay, so then it's Germany's turn. And uh, I'll follow what uh, Jonathan had for Germany's turn there. Although he doesn't know uh, when he made his, uh, his uh, moves what I've done on the Russian turn. Uh, but uh, from what I can gather in his video, he, he, uh, he kind of expected uh, the Russian player to do similar to what I've done. So there, that's what the, Ru or the Germans have bought. Seven infantry, two artillery, and one fighter. Okay, so let's come back this way. So, um, what, what, what he wants to do with uh, the Germans, and, and I'll show you, uh, uh, he wants to attack everywhere, right? He wants to attack the whole Western Front. But one of the things that, that, that uh, is key to his strategy, and, and I think is very sound, is to go after Burgundy here. He, he wants to go through Switzerland, so he's got to take Switzerland this, for, this turn. Then he's going through Burgundy. Uh, rather than just coming at uh, straight out head-to-head uh, -head against these two territories, he wants to come around them and go to Burgundy. Because from Burgundy, you can hit these ones around here and you can get them in an economic and political collapse. So that seems like a pretty good strategy to me. Um, so, uh, and also, you're right next to Italy there. If you take uh, Switzerland out, then, then you're right next to the Italians. And uh, you can head down there if uh, if the Austrians have to have to go and, and defend uh, the rear over there, and they're they are going to have to. You, you can see what's going on back there. So um, let let's just uh, let's just get to it then. Okay, so what he's done now, he's coming straight ahead with these ones here. Jeez, this is hard to move with my hand like this. Um, let let me just move this over here to get it out of my way. Okay, there we go. Now you can see from the Paris point of view, what's going on here. Okay, so these are these things are coming down here and they're attacking Belgium. Um, I'm missing uh, a unit there. There should be an artillery unit there, as I'm looking at it. So let's just put that artillery unit on there. There we go. Okay, and then uh, these units here from Alsace are gonna come down here and, and attack here. Um, and these units here, are going to come down and attack Switzerland. Excuse me while I just knock everything everywhere. Okay, so then um, then um, after that, uh, well not after, I mean right now you have to do all your movement at once. All of these units here are going to come down to Alsace to back everybody else up. Oh. So all of these units into here. And then the units from Berlin, can you see that far away here? Let's move the camera up a bit. The units from Berlin up here are going to come down to Munich. And the artillery as well are going to come from Silesia. And then, um, well, let's just talk about this first. Uh, the reason he wants to go to Munich is, uh, like I said, he, he wants to key on Burgundy down here. So, like, he, he wants them on the southern road down here. Uh, that's one of the reasons. The other reason is, is that he's two spaces away from Glacia over here. So, he can, uh, if he had them up here, then they're out of position. They couldn't make it down there to help out the Austrians. But he's put them in Munich, which is a good idea, because then he can help out the Austrians. Now, curiously, uh, how he's chosen to defend the eastern flank here is he's moving everything over here. And what he's saying is that these guys can help these guys and these guys can help these guys. But uh, he didn't see that there's only three of them left and, and uh, a ton of Russians. And so I have a feeling that uh, knowing that, he might have done this differently. Like he might have, uh, with the Germans, tried to attack this, right? I mean, I certainly would. Uh, try to contest that and then um, Like I probably would have done all of this here that that's this is all all well and good It's just like my the, the way uh, I'm uh, uh, Trying to break this strategy is by overwhelming the eastern side. I'm trying to take out the Austrians first, but, uh, but They're gonna need a lot more help over here than than what he's done on the first turn 
for the Germans. And like I said, uh, knowing what I've done in Galatia, um, he might have done it differently. But he seemed to know that that uh, that uh, that Russia was going to move all that they can over there, especially with uh, the Austrians moving up like they did. So we'll just do what he's doing there. I think I probably would have would have left a few guys on on Prussia, and I'll show you why when I get uh, around to the Russian turn again. So this is what he's done. He's attacking all of these things up here, um, which is uh, which seems like uh, pretty straightforward to me and and uh, the, the reasons that he gave in his video. And, and like I said, you should go watch that. Uh, he's going to give you a lot more reasons than I am here. Um, it, it all seems pretty sound. Uh, the other thing he said is uh, to attack the, the British boats. So we're gonna move all of these in here, all of these in here. And uh, these ones, if you can, so let's move all of the, let's move these two subs into here. And uh, they're gonna try to take out these British boats and they're gonna try to take out these British boats. And that's it. That's about all we've got here. So I've done all the moving and everything and there's gonna be a lot of rolling this time. Um, so I'll just roll all this up and uh, get, uh, well, who's next I think, the French, and get the, the French and, and the British all ready to go and then we'll come back. Well, that was a lot of rolling. Uh, Germany was pretty successful here. Um, they lost, I believe, one guy in Switzerland. Uh, I think they actually lost four here, um, but they were able to take off five. And they lost uh, two here and took off four. And then uh, as far as the boats go, uh, they got pretty lucky here. Uh, you can see there's only one damaged battleship left. They lost a cruiser to the mine on the way in. And so uh, they just had the two, um, the two submarines and a battleship and a cruiser against two cruisers and a battleship. And uh, as you can see, like uh, one more hit and they would have been done here, right? And then if that was the case, then uh, the UK would have had one transport. And I think they would have taken that transport and moved two guys across uh, to help France out. But that's not the case. Uh, so Germany was successful there as well. And then over here, um, it was two subs against a cruiser and a uh, transport, and there was one casualty each. So the, the cruiser and the sub canceled out each other, and then the last sub uh, takes out the, the transport. Over here, um, I had set it up wrong in case you noticed. There, there was a, a transport over here that's supposed to be a cruiser. I, I've known that since yesterday. I just I kept forgetting to uh, to move it back. And also another thing that I was moving yesterday, I had left a, a unit for France over there. Um, and then down in Africa down there, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about Africa. I told you that yesterday. You just move around and do what you can, right? There, there's not much down there. There's no grand strategies. But Germany was able to take pick up four uh, four territories over there. So they just uh, they didn't go and attack anybody uh, like any units. They just moved wherever they could where they could get a, a free dollar, and so that's what they did. So they were able to pick up four IPCs down there, and another IPC here. That's five, and then two more here. That's seven. So their income is up to forty two now, I believe. Um, so good for them. Um, now it's France's turn, and for France, the, they can see what's coming at them. They, they, by now, uh, with those two nations going, uh, they can see that, uh, that that it's killed France first. So rather than buying a fighter and um, um, artillery this turn, they're going to do the best thing they can do for defense and, and just buy infantry. Because uh, if you don't have, if you're not having that extra fighter, then an infantry is just as good as an artillery on defense, and and so they're just going to go. They have 24 IPCs. They're going to go with eight infantry, um, and uh, like they they can also see if they if they they're taking a good look there. They can see uh, that uh, down here in Munich they've got all these uh, troops down here, and they've got all these in here, and uh, the the ultimate goal for that is either going to be Piedmont. Or Burgundy, so France can't do much about Piedmont, although they are going to move as many units in there as they can. But they are going to uh, um, key on trying to protect Burgundy, and um, they're going to take a chance here. Uh, what they want to do is they want to make sure that uh, Switzerland is contested, because if they contest Switzerland, 
then uh, and then this territory here is contested or the or the French have it, then there's no way that Germany uh, can attack Burgundy um, on the next turn. All they need to do is have one unit left here and, and that, that's it. They, they wouldn't be able to um, uh, they wouldn't be able to take it. So that's what they're going to try to do and, and they might even uh, they might even have the Italians come up here uh, depending on what happens on, on the French turn. So what's going to happen here? Uh, like I said, there's uh, there's the French guys there. I bought eight eight uh, units. So what they're going to do now, they're going to go into Switzerland from Burgundy. Uh, they're going to take the fighter, and then uh, this territory is contested. So I could go two spaces up to there. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to move uh, four infantry and. Um, yeah, let's just move these four infantry up here to Lorraine. Put the, put this infantry on top. And we're going to move an artillery up there as well. I tell you, this is really hard to do when you got a fat finger like that. <laughs> when, you're in, when you're in crowded, uh, you're up in there. Oh, geez. And then when you try to work left-handed. I know it's probably painful for you to watch it. Okay. There we go. Um, these guys aren't going to attack down here. They're just going to play defense. Uh, because, you know, if these guys could reach up here from Paris, then I would. But but that's not the case here. So I've got two infantry left and, and an artillery down here. Now, what I would like to do, um, I'm going to move uh, this artillery or this, this infantry here up. So uh, let's go to Burgundy with him. And um, and then uh, let's take this infantry over here, and these guys are going up to Piedmont, and then these two are going to go to Burgundy like that. Um, and then down here with the ships. Okay, so this this uh, transport here is going to go down here, pick up this guy. Oops, let me move that up here. Pick up this guy in Morocco, and then he's going to take him here. So that is going to turn these guys into French. So that's three infantry. And an artillery. And we'll put a pie on there. So that's French territory. And we're going to bring also the, the uh, battleship over uh, from Sea Zone 15 to protect that. And then... Uh, what we're going to do with the other boats here, let's move this this up here. We're going to take the uh, the cruiser and the battleship, and we're going to go after these guys down here, uh, the uh, the Austrian boats, and then one of these transports is going to go back here, uh, back to where the other one was there, because they're going to pick up the guys from Portugal next, right? So they're going to go back there. And this transport here is going to bring infantry over to Piedmont, or sorry, yeah, there we go, over to Piedmont. So now the French have four infantry in Piedmont, and uh, and that's going to help them out on the next turn. There's obviously not going to help them on this turn. And then with uh, they, they've only got one infantry left down there, they'll just move up one. Uh, that that's not going to get them uh, any more money this turn. Um, but uh, that's about all they can do and then the next turn if the Germans don't move back then they can go to Togoland there and get a, another IPC. So uh, what are we attacking here? We're attacking Switzerland and we're attacking uh, whatever that is. <laughs> I can't see it. It's, it's getting crowded in there and we're attacking the boats and I guess that's it. So I will I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, so France didn't do too bad there. Um, I was really worried about this attack into Switzerland here because they face such overwhelming odds. But luckily, uh, you know, the Germans didn't do too bad uh, hitting them, but uh, they, it could have been worse. I was just praying uh, that it wouldn't have been worse. And, and uh, the reason I was able to, to take uh, more off them than they were off me is because, uh, at least for this turn at least anyway, I've got the... Um, 
I've got the aerial uh, advantage there. Uh, I'm the only one with a fighter in there, so that upscales my artillery. I would have liked to have had more artillery so I could have rolled more at three, but um, and I toyed with the idea of taking it into here because I was taking more artillery into this one, but uh, that, um, I, I knew that I was going to need more up there. And uh, I've consolidated my units here, so uh, there's four up here, and um, yeah, I guess uh, everything else I'd moved up. This attack didn't go too bad. Uh, they lost uh, some, I lost some there in, in France there. Uh, so that's, uh, that's how that shook out. And that's about it. Oh, uh, the, the naval battle. That was again close. These naval battles have been really good. They've gone a couple of rounds and um, I think actually that one with Germany and Britain went three rounds, but this one went two and it could have gone either way. There was battleship against battleship and uh, they were both damaged and uh, the French battleship hit and the, the Austrian battleship missed. And so if that hadn't happened, uh, then it still would have been just a damaged battleship in there. And uh, then those... Uh, those Italian boats would have come in and, and tried to finish off that uh, damaged uh, Austrian battleship. But mostly what you want to do is get the transport out of there. The battleship and uh, the cruiser in there, they're just protecting that that uh, that transport in there. And the transport is basically a bridge across to Tuscany. And so that's what I wanted to get rid of and that's what happened. So they're never going, never going to transport anything across Tuscany because I don't see them uh, building uh, a transport. I mean, they can, or sorry, building boats in there. Um, they just don't have enough money. The, the the economics in this game are not very conducive to building big navies. Uh, you just, uh, the people just don't have a lot of money. The territories are, are not worth that much money that you can go and build big navies in this game. So I think, uh, and you've seen what's happened over here. Uh, I don't think anything's changed with all of that. And France was down a dollar or one IPC. That's not too bad considering everybody's coming after him, but that's only after the one, the first turn. Um, so the, they were they were down this too, and that makes them even. And then they were, or sorry, yeah, they makes them even. And then they were down one in in uh, Africa down there. So that's why they're down. Okay, so let's go to the United Kingdom. Now with the United Kingdom, let's just take a quick look here. With no transports in the water, there's absolutely no reason for me to put any boats over here. Like I said, it's uh, it's uh, the economics of this game don't allow you to build big navies. And, and for, quite frankly, um, I would rather build a lot of ground units than a couple of boats. I, uh, with, uh, with only one damaged uh, German battleship, that is an option for me. Uh, they, they, they only have one sub and one damaged battleship. So if I was to build, I, I could build a few boats in here, but that's going to take most of my income and that's going to give the Ottoman Empire a reprieve. And that's not what I want. What I want to do is I want to beat the living shit out of these guys down here and get them out of the game as quickly as possible. Um, so let's get to it. This is what I've purchased. They start out with 30 IPCs. They bought four infantry, three artillery, and uh, fighter. Uh, let's just get this over with an Africa down here. Now, I try to look for an advantage. Uh, that's about the only strategy that I have down in, in Africa. So looking for an advantage. Now, I could take the easy way out. I could take uh, these guys over here and take a, a, an IPC. I could take these guys over here and take that easy IPC. But when I look at this, I've got an advantage here, so I'm going to take it. Uh, I've got three guys against two. And then down here, uh, I can do two against one right here. So I'm going to do that as well. Try to get these guys out as soon as possible. And um, in keeping with that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm... Uh, normally, I don't do this. Normally, I take all of these guys from Egypt the other way. But I'm going to bring these two down here because I'm going to try to get these German units out as quickly as possible. And, and then Africa will be settled. I uh, uh, won't even have to worry about that for the rest of the game. So then... Uh, these guys, uh, you don't need a boat to come across here, so these guys are coming over here. And on this boat here, on this transport, uh, we're going to pick up the guy from Egypt, and we're going to go down two spaces. Oops, sorry about that. We're going to go down two spaces to bring in the guy from Egypt, and that means that we're going to activate these guys in Arabia. So, let's get the chips out here, and we'll take this guy off and put, the, put, put him under the chip there, and... Um, we need an artillery, and there we go. So, Arabia now belongs to the Brits. 
Now, uh, that's done over here. So all we have left now is, uh, is what's on India there. So India, what I like to do is uh, uh, I want to go after Persia. And uh, I probably should go with more. But I also want to get Mesopotamia there. That, that's worth three IPCs. The, uh, the more money I can get, the better off I am. Like I could just go with all six of these and, and, and probably take out Persia this turn. But, uh, um, hmm. You know what? I'm going to change it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do uh, is uh, is only take. No, 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 no. I'm I'm still going to do that. I forgot to put one of my infantry on here. I was I was switching these up here so I wouldn't have to move too many around. So there's actually uh, you start with six infantry here. So I'm I'm missing two. So there it is. Sorry about that. I was. Uh, I was miscounting. So you start with six infantry uh, that I was wondering why I didn't have more to go after Persia. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here like that. And then on this transport here, I'm going to come around at Mesopotamia here and they're going to get a shot with a battleship to get that bombardment with that battleship. Um, and that's about it. That's about all I'm going to do. Now, hopefully I take out Persia on the, on the first turn, but it's likely it's going to take me till the second turn, but I don't really care because uh, those Persians aren't going anywhere. It would be nice to get them out on the first turn. And then all those things that I purchased there, after I'm finished my attacks, all of those things that I purchased are going down on India. I'm not putting anything up in the UK. Unless I see some transports in the water up there, I don't care up there. Until it gets down to the fourth turn, when the Americans are entering the game, then I'm going to look at what's going on down here. Am I done with these guys yet? And if I am, then I'm going to start looking at building transports up there and coming across from the UK into Europe or into Northern Europe. Sorry, this is all Europe, isn't it? So, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. That's where we are right now. Let's, uh, let's beat the shit out of these guys. Okay, so the British turn is over. Um, the, the British were able to take this, so they lost one infantry and the Germans lost one infantry. Uh, and they were able to, they were not able to take that. They were able to contest it though. So that is, uh, um, the Germans lost one infantry and the British didn't lose anything there. So that's what's happened in Africa. And then over here, um, they were not able to take this. Normally I go in with more than that, but this time I didn't. And so they didn't, they, they didn't get that, uh, get that out right. Um, what else? Uh, they were able to take Mesopotamia. Um, they they lost their artillery, so they took one casualty. But they were able to take out the uh, the uh, Ottoman unit that was there. And then over here, as suspected, uh, they weren't able to get that, but they were able to take two off of them. And uh, I yeah, these and uh, the neutrals, uh, the Persians were able to take two off the British. So hopefully they'll be able to take that next time. Um, and then of course up, at, up on top there, absolutely nothing happened because the British are not going, going to put anything on up there. So this isn't too bad. See what we've done here is we've contested this territory. So the Ottomans aren't going to be able to collect for that unless they get it back. We've contested this territory. So that's another three IPCs down. Actually, no, we haven't contested it. Sorry. We, we've taken this territory. So that the Ottomans, uh, it's going to be tough for them to get that back because there's four units in there and all they've got to hit it with are these guys and these guys. They can't move two spaces into here because they've got no units into here, in here. So that it's, it's a big deal when you, when you can do that because uh, otherwise they, they would be able to bring things from two spaces away uh, it, to get that. So it's good that you can, when you can get all that out. And the same down here, see now they're, um, uh, I don't think they're going to need any more. But uh, if you'd have taken uh, this guy out as well, then they couldn't have brought guys all the way down from Constantinople to Transjordan. But they can uh, this turn. I don't think they're going to, though. So let's just set this up over here. Oh, before I do, uh, there you can see what the Ottomans have purchased. They have 16 IPCs. They purchased an artillery and four infantry. Um, the British are hoping that that's the only purchase they make all game. But uh, I don't know. Like uh, I, I'm, I'm used to going with more guys here, so that that might not be the case this game. It could be that they get to purchase twice. 
Um, so anyway, um, they're just going, going to do whatever they can. Um, they're going to come down here uh, with these guys. Uh, they, they're definitely going to take one guy up to Bulgaria here, and the, they're going to change these guys into uh, in, in, into uh, Turks. Let's let's say so. That's five, six, seven infantry. Um, five, six, seven infantry and an artillery. So we'll put the artillery on, get rid of that one. See if we can throw the Russian guy around for a while. Get a, he, he looks like he's drunk up there. A little too much vodka. Okay, and the seven infantry goes down. And even though it's that color, that doesn't mean that that's what it starts as. You, 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 that's not actually included in your income. So this, you, you put the pie on there. That means you're up three. Um, which is good because uh, you're down some too. So, uh, hmm, I think I think what we're going to do here is we're going to go with everything we can. So that means the guys from the Syrian desert as well. Uh, so what that means is that we're going to want to come down to the Syrian desert because they've got stuff in Arabia here. So let's come down here with two. Um, let's see. Let's even come down here with three. Okay, and then uh, we'll take two to Ankara. And then we've got the two artillery. We don't want to lose the artillery. Um, we're not going to be able to buy many units. So let's, let's keep them protected for now. Uh, we're not going to put them in, in Syria uh, because uh, they can come at, at the Syrians. Although it's it's unlikely they can hit the or they can take them out, but we're we're just going to do that. We're going to protect those artillery and and let them fight on the next round. So that's about, that's about all they can do. Like they they don't have any boats left. Uh, their boats were taken out before they they even got a turn in this game. Um, and uh, the, the, it's not too exciting if you ever go to a game and there's a whole bunch of players and and all you get to play is the Ottomans that it's going to be a short night for you, let me tell you. Anyway, I'll be back. All right then, so uh, this is the kind of break that the Central Powers need to win this game. Uh, on this turn, uh, the Ottoman Empire just rolled lights out. They were able to take Mesopotamia back in force, um, like take it outright, and Transjordan as well. They just rolled a whole bunch of ones and twos and, and, uh, and threes when they could roll them. And... Uh, the the other guys, uh, you know, they 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 had a couple hits on the way back, but um, man, uh, the the Ottomans uh, did exactly what they needed, and so what what this means is that uh, the Ottoman Empire are going to be able to stay in the game um, one maybe one maybe two more turns longer than they should have. Like I was hoping to have them in economic collapse as the British player uh, at, um, on the next turn. There's absolutely no way that's going to happen. Uh, no matter how I roll and uh, they might not be in economic collapse until the fourth turn so they're going to be able to put more uh, units on Constantinople than than I had hoped that they would so anyway that's the way things have shaken out uh, I put uh, the four infantry and one uh, artillery on there so now it's um, Italy's turn and so Italy has purchased they have 14 IPCs they've purchased two uh, infantry and two artillery so what, what's going to happen here? Um, here, let me just move this up here. And there we go. Uh, in this angle here, you should be able to see everything. Okay, so there's two guys down in Libya here. And what they're going to do is they're going to come across on the boat uh, from Libya on this transport. Let's, uh, let's just move this transport over there so you can see it. They're coming across on the transport and they're going to, um, they're going to get this territory here. So... That's going to give us an extra three infantry and put the infantry on that we brought over and it's going to give us a, another artillery. And so we put the artillery on there and we get to put a flag on there. So Italy is up to, so that's the two that they lost in Venice there. So now they're even again. Okay. Um, and then, um, basically what's going to happen here is all but three of their all but three of their infantry units are going to go to Venice. So it would be easier for me, even though I'd have to break this one because the three are going to go here. I'm just going to take these three infantry units off and I'm going to uh, put them 
up in Switzerland. Okay. And then these guys move over and these guys move up. And there we go. Italy is done. Uh, done with their movement phase. So then they've just got that attack. Uh, these guys are not going to attack. The three infantry, you can move um, units into a contested territory and not attack with them if you if you want. So that's what's happening there is, is those three infantry are just going in and jumping in the trenches with, with the French guys there uh, for all intents and purposes. Um, so that's all the movement. Uh, Italy's pretty quick to play because they're in such a con concentrated space. Uh, you know what, there is one more thing I'll do. I will take this guy down here from Somaliland and move him over to British East Africa. Then, you know, he can move on and maybe, you know, he can, he, he can get this German territory. So uh, Italy could use all the money they can get. Um, but if it looks like they're going into economic collapse, then maybe the British will take that money instead. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to roll that one attack up there and uh, and then I'll be back with the with the Americans turn. OK, so that didn't take very long. Um, it seems like the, the offenses are rolling really well in this game and the defense is not quite as well. Although there is a lot of hits being taken off. Uh, there's not, you know, like it, it, uh, I don't think I've uh, rolled any uh, dice for offense or defense and, and had no hits yet. So all that's happened here is uh, the, the, the Italians got six hits on the Austrians and the Austrians got uh, four hits on the Italians. So uh, the... The Italians did a little bit better than the Austrians are not much but a little bit and so that's what it looks like and uh, Italy collects 14 IPCs again um, nothing uh, that they're up to and down to uh, so um, so then uh, the, the only thing left is the Americans turn and they get 20 IPCs and there's no magic formula to what they're doing I'm just going to put a battleship and uh, transport on there that uh, that's 18 IPCs, so then they're going to take 20 and have two extra, so they'll have 22 IPCs next time. Basically, what you're trying to do with uh, with the Americans is is uh, take a look at what's left for a German Navy and what they buy between now and the fourth turn, and uh, and and see how much protection you need, and then the rest is going to be transports. Uh, you want a little bit more protection than you know, like you want to be able to defend yourself. Uh, you want more than what they have. Uh, because um, the last thing you want to do is lose your navy, you know, uh, the, like you're buying a bunch of transports, and if if they if they able are able to get through your warships and and uh, then your transports die for free, that's pretty much uh, game over at that point. Because uh, the Americans, it's going to take them a few turns to buy more ships in order to bring them over here to uh, to Europe, and so you definitely want to have more protection. Uh, than than what uh, than what you think have you know one more battleship than what you think you should have uh, just to be on the safe side and so that uh, that comes to the end of the first turn you know I kind of had an idea here what what I might want to do like uh, Jonathan had uh, done his um, his moves so that there would be two turns worth and and I showed you there at the beginning of the video that I, and I could uh, do a second turn here with uh, uh, doing the the exact moves that he said but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the video after one turn and uh, then Jonathan uh, you can either com uh, put a comment in saying that you would like to, to continue the same uh, plan that you had or you could comment that uh, something different uh, you could you could say I'd like to change and, and do this instead of what I said in my video that that being your video sorry and uh, you could do that if you'd like. Um, and then I'll carry on from there. Um, don't feel that you have to though, but uh, just to, you know, be, now that you, you know what's rolled and, and, and what, uh, it would only be fair for your strategy. And like I said, this isn't a game between me and you. This is, uh, this is just, I'm trying to find a winning strategy for the central powers and yours looks good. So what do you think? Do you think that you should change it all? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan around really slowly. So that there, the, that's uh, pretty standard over there, what you see there. Uh, you see there's only the two German boats left in the water. Um, this here, you'll want to take a look at that for a while. Um, that's what, what's on the western front. And that's what I've purchased over here. That's probably what you would have purchased. 
uh, for the Germans. And then this is where you'll want to take a good look is over here, uh, what Russia's done. So this is what they bought, probably the same as what you might have bought if you're the Russian player. And then this is what uh, this is what the Eastern Front looks like. Um, oh, let's move that back just a little bit. That's everything that's on the Eastern Front right now. That's all of the Russian units, except for the one guy in Livonia over here. I'll move him up so you can see him. And then the units that I put on for, for the Russians, which is five infantry, an artillery, and a fighter. So you can see all of the Russian units there. And then the, um, the one boat was lost down here. Uh, or Sorry, the one Russian boat was lost down here and the two Ottoman boats were, were taken out. This is what the Balkans look like down here. So the Italians moved a, an infantry and an artillery over. And then you rolled really well down here, Jonathan. Way to go! <laughs> that's that's what the Ottomans look like, and the uh, and the uh, the Germans. I wouldn't worry too much about those over there. You know, it's not like uh, it's going to make a big deal, what a di big difference, no matter what happens down there. So that's what it looks like right now. And I'm going to upload this video, and don't feel that you have to respond to it. Um, if you want me to just keep going, then don't say anything. But I'll wait till tomorrow or, or the next day. I've got, I'm, I'm in no hurry whatsoever. And I'm interested to think to know what you think should happen from this point on. What's happened so far is, is uh, something that, that uh, over on the Western Front, there is something uh, that you could uh, probably guess what would happen. I mean, that, that's pretty close to what would happen. Um, and it doesn't look too bad for the French now. It's what's going to happen next that it's going to start looking bad for the French because then you've got all those guys back there in Munich um, that can go through uh, Switzerland there and you got all the guys in Alsace uh, that can move up um, to Lorraine and then these guys here can move up to Picardy so it, it's not going to look good for the French after unless they roll really well at the end of the next turn um that's where we'll see but w w mostly what i'm interested in jonathan is, is what you're going to do over here you know like i can i can do the same moves over there but it seems to me that i would do something different over here if i was you so i'd like to know how you would defend against uh against the russians over here because that, that's not something that uh that i think that uh you were counting on over here but we'll see. Maybe it is. Maybe that's exactly what you thought would happen. So I'm going to end the video here. I want to thank everybody for watching. And um, I'm going to leave it set up. And, and I'm going to take, um, I'm going to continue on after this. Uh, i got to go and get myself some lunch now, though. I'm getting hungry. I haven't had any lunch yet today. So, um, yeah, that's it. Take care, everyone. General Hand Grenade out.